A new book on the Alamo just ignited a brand new battle. The Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum was all prepared to hold a discussion about the book yesterday. They even marked the event saying it was, quote, sparking interesting conversations across the state. But with just hours to go, that event was canceled. And one of the authors tells us he's being censored. I was really surprised when the bullet pulled out because they had invited us uh, back in May before our book even hit the shelves. Chris Tomlinson is co-author of the new book, Forget the Alamo, The Rise and Fall of an American Myth. The book looks at the factors surrounding some of the iconic battle's main characters. Historians point out Jim Bowie was a slave trader. Joe was a slave of William B. Travis and survived the battle. Stephen F. Austin lobbied to keep Texas a slave state within the Mexican government. The Battle of the Alamo had as much to do with slavery as it did with liberty. Critics note that part is often glossed over when retelling the Alamo's history. But while the authors say their book takes this new look, Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick said he's responsible for canceling the book event. He said he did so as part of the Preservation Board, which includes Governor Greg Abbott and House Speaker Dade Phelan. The lieutenant governor sent out a tweet calling the book a fact-free rewriting of Texas history. Tomlinson feels this move was against everything former Lieutenant Governor Bob Bullock stood for. And he wanted an open discussion at the museum that has his name on it. Um, for the present Lieutenant Governor to, to, to do what he's done, it, it's just a tragedy. I think the nature of the Bullock Museum is permanent, has permanently changed. Tomlinson is set to appear at the Texas Book Festival later this year. He's on the board of the festival, and he says he's worried if he could be banned from that event as well.